Hello, it's Paul here and welcome to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video today, I'm going to be answering the question, should you use pipe drive for client or project management? It's a question I get a lot and uh, that's what I'm going to be answering in this video today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and there are details in the description below of how you can learn more about my consulting services if you'd like one-on-one -on -one help with pipe drive setup, automation and training as well. So can you use Pipedrive for project management? Uh, so the short answer is yes, you can, but that doesn't necessarily mean you should. It's a bit of a trade-off. Obviously the benefit of using Pipedrive, if you can make it work, is you can keep your entire process in Pipedrive in one tool. So uh, all, you know, obviously the sales aspect and then managing the client or the project as well. There's a nice, there's a nice uh, benefit of having everything under one roof. However, Pipedrive is not really designed for project management. It's really designed for the sales process, for managing leads from you know lead in through some kind of sales journey and then closing the sale, winning the sale. That's really sort of where Pipedrive uh, does its job really well. You could use it for client management, I choose to actually use a third-party tool like Asana. You could use something similar or like Trello, Basecamp. There are loads of other project management tools. These tools are much more designed for project management and dealing with clients. So there you're using, you know, if you use a third-party option, you can use something that's much more designed for that function, but then you are having to use multiple tools. So there's pros and cons either way you do it. So if you want to use Pipedrive for client or project management, how can we make that work? Well, the main way people do uh, do it is you can have a second pipeline. So I've created one here called client management. So the way this would work is I have my main sales pipeline. I'm moving deals through these stages and then I'm eventually going to get to the point where I want to, uh, you know, I win the deal and I'm going to move it over to client management. So I could do that. Uh, we're going to move it to a different pipeline. And I could move it over to uh, client management. And here I have some stages like new client. I could have a kickoff call in progress, waiting on client, and then project complete. You know, whatever whatever your client management or project management process looks like. So that's one very simple way that you could manage clients and projects. However, the what you need to have in mind if you are going to move a deal from sales pipeline to a different pipeline is now this deal will no longer count towards my reporting for my sales pipeline. So what do I mean by that? If I go to my reports, when I look at my sales pipeline up here for things like deals one, uh, if I'm looking at just my sales pipeline, it's not gonna count that sale that's now living on the client management pipeline because the way these reports work is they, they look at the deals that live on that particular pipeline. So if I've moved it to a different pipeline, it won't count in the um, in, in this particular report. Now I could switch this to all pipelines and so potentially when I do mark the deal as one, it will be counted. But if I'm only looking at the individual pipeline, essentially you would never have any deals uh, showing as one because you've moved them all to the client management pipeline. So you can get around it with the all pipelines. Um, Things like deal conversion though, this is, if I go to sales, this is one of my favorite reports because it shows you your conversion rate, it shows you where you lose people in the process. And again, if you are moving people to the other pipeline, it will not show in this report. And unlike my deals one report, this report is pipeline specific. I can't show a report for all pipelines because the pipelines are different. So that's a big report where you wouldn't be getting lots of really valuable data because you've moved the deal to another pipeline. To get around this, what you can do instead of moving the deal to a new pipeline is you could duplicate it. So let's take Richard Branson here. I'm going to move him back to my sales management. So let's say we're managing him in sales. I've sent a contract. Now um, I'm going to mark this deal as one. So now I'm, count, uh, I'm counting $20,000 of revenue on my sales pipeline report. Great. What I could then do is I could duplicate this deal and I could say... I could give this a name, uh, Richard Branson Project. And I could then put this onto the client management pipeline and I'll just reopen it here now as well. So now when I go to client management, I've got this new deal here. And any information from my sales deal, like the summary, the budget, all of that would be copied as well, which is great. If I look at this contact, so if I click on Richard Branson, I'm now going to see two deals. So if I go under my deals, I can see the original sales deal that's marked as one and the new project deal, which is on my um, client management pipeline. In fact, if I add a column in here, 
we can now see the two different deals and the two different pipelines that they are on. So if you do want to use a separate pipeline, this would be my recommendation is to potentially duplicate the deal onto the second pipeline. It is going to create you know extra deals in the system, but it's going to, I think, mean your reporting is more accurate. If you don't want to manually do this, you could use automation, the automation features built into uh, pipe drive to actually automate that. So when a deal is marked as one, you could duplicate and, and create a new deal on the client management pipeline as well. So to summarize the answer to this question, should you use pipe drive for client or project management? It depends. If you really want to keep all of your workflow under one tool, yes, you can use pipe drive. You could use a different pipeline and you could duplicate deals onto that pipeline. If you really want the benefit of a proper project management tool, you could use something like Asana, Trello, or Basecamp. And I've actually got a separate video on how I've integrated Asana and pipe drive together so that when a deal is marked as one, it copies information into, into Asana. I prefer to do it that way because I want the the full capabilities of a proper project management tool. The downside is now you have to use two different tools, which I don't mind. That's that's a trade-off I am willing to make. So hopefully this video has been useful if you are considering using Pipedrive for client or project management. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.